Hello everyone, welcome to Web API for Beginner series. This is part one, and we're going to get started with building the Web API from scratch. And I'm here in my Visual Studio, and I'm going to head over to the File menu, click on New, and select the project. And here I have the web template selected, and I have the option as ASP.NET Web Application. And I'm just going to call it as Web API Empty because this is going to be an empty project. It will not have any template to begin with. And I'm going to click on OK and select the empty template from here and click on the OK button on this dialog box. And it's going to go ahead and generate all the necessary files for us. So if I click on the Solution Explorer, you can see we have one project, and the solution name is Web API Empty, and the name of the empty project is Web API Empty. Now here we do not have any file, no classes whatsoever. So we are going to get started by creating a class and that would be our controller so i'm going to say new item and i'm going to search for class and here i can call it hello world controller and hit add button here and one thing you need to remember is whenever you're creating a controller the class name should have a controller suffix to it so we have that thing in there so i'm going to click on the add button and we now have this class added and that is the name of our controller now this should inherit from api controller so i'm going to say api controller now as you can see we do not have anything showing up here that's because we do not have any references to the web api so the first thing we need to do is right click on the project select manage NuGet package because we need to add a we need to add a web api package so that we could start building our web apis although we have a controller here but it doesn't have any web api packages installed so once we get the package this is quickly should go away so let me go ahead and click on select the manage NuGet packages option from here and from this dialog box i'm going to search for a web api from the browse tab and we have this first hit and it has over 26 million downloads so i'm going to select this and i'm going to choose the latest and the most stable version i'm going to choose install and it's going to go ahead and gather all the necessary information and it's saying it's going to make some changes to the file um, it's going to you know make some changes to this project by installing all these necessary um, files so I'm going to say OK and we have this prompt for the license. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and accept this license. And it has installed the package. And now if I close this one and now when I click on this bulb icon, I should see a reference that I can use to reference the API controller and on my right hand side if I expand the references you can see all the references added in this project because I added that web API package so that's the name of our class and it's now successfully inheriting from the API controller now the web API has get post put and delete these are the verbs that we use in our demonstration we are only going we're only going to read the information. So what I need to do is inside of this class, I'm just going to say public string get because 
we want to read the information and I'm just going to say something as simple as return you have called the get method at date time now dot string okay let me just move this thing out of the way to get some more room so now I can save this I can even build this it has successfully built the application now I'm going to go ahead and run my project and click on Google Chrome and it's going to go ahead and do something I'm expecting some message to appear here well but I get an error why do I get an error because we haven't specified what we need we need to get this controller information showing up here so what we need to do to resolve this issue is add a global .esx file so I need to right click I need to first stop my project and add a global .esx file and hit add and we have got few predefined method signature here so in the start of this I've got some code in my clipboard and I'll just paste that here and now we are getting some squigglies here so all I would need to do is just add a reference to this global configuration by including the using statement so that error goes away and now let's add a reference to the HTTP route here and that error goes away as well now let's build this clean solution rebuild solution and rebuild all succeeded zero failed zero skipped so now we are looking good now if I run this if I just click on run and remember what I said about calling the controller the controller name needs to be called and controller should be omitted from my call so all I would need to do is just say hello world and there's just one method here one verb and that is is to be called so I'm just going to say hello world and hit enter and it has come back with this information so we have successfully built our API from scratch without using a web API template all we have done is just created one web API added a global dot ASX file and added one get method to it and we were successfully able to return some information so in my next video we're going to take a deep dive and we are going to use Fiddler and I can show you how we can play around with the values and how we can use Fiddler to update and delete the value and how we can manipulate our call so I hope you enjoyed this video just before you go if this video has helped you in any shape or form don't forget to hit that subscribe button that big red button somewhere on the page maybe left or right or at the bottom of this video and click on that bell button so that you can notify whenever I upload fresh content thanks for watching and stay tuned